Now, good morning, students. Now, I'm going to find out the unit step function. Unit step function, mathematically, it is defined as u of t is equal to 1, or t greater than or equal to 0, 0 for t less than 0. Diagrammatic approach is this, the same mathematical expression can be represented in the format of diagram, like this fashion. Like this fashion. Now, I'm going to here let solution. I'm going to find out the Fourier transform. Let x of t is equal to u of t. x of t is equal to u of t. Now I'm going to find out the Fourier transform of unit step function indirectly. How means let sigma function sigma function is this one. This is plus one, this is minus one. Okay. Sigma function plus one plus one means which is equal to which is equal to how it becomes it becomes as on the RHS side it is two on the RHS side it will be zero. It will be zero. This is this is Sigma function, sigma of t plus one. Okay, this is sigma of t plus one. But if I multiply zero point five, or if I divide with one by two, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, unit function, which seems to be unit function. So I can consider unit step function as one by two times of sigma function plus one. Sigma function plus one. So for your transform of unit step function can be represented as zero point five. Fourier transform of sigma function of t plus one. Okay. Now I'm going to write down the formula for sigma function once again. Fourier transform of sigma function is equal to two by g omega. Fourier transform of one. Why I have considered one? Because one is here. It is a constant function. For this transform of constant function is two by del of omega by substituting. So for the transform of unit function, which is equal to zero point five, for the transform of sigma function of T sigma function plus Fourier transform of one. So which is equal to one by two times of Fourier transform of sigma function of time. Sigma function is equal to two by J omega plus Fourier transform of one is two by del of omega. So cancel. See here it is the one by two is distributed between these two. Means I need to multiply one by two to two by j omega plus one by two into two by del of these two. These two gets cancelled. Two two gets cancelled. So I left with one by j omega plus pi into del of omega, which is the Fourier transform of unit step function. This is very, very important, students. Okay. You cannot find the Fourier transform of Fourier transform of unit step function directly. You need to make use of this rule. You need to make use of this rule. In order to find
find out the Fourier transform of a Richter function. Clear? Thank you. Thank you very much.